You become great in this life when you understand how to dominate the world with your gifts. You know, the best thing that ever happened to me uh, was when I gave my life to Jesus and surrendering uh, my total love for him. Are you with me this morning? You know, the one, of the, one of the most beautiful things about having a relationship with God is that with God, you have a new beginning. That's why the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. And all these new things are of God. All of these new things are of God. And, you know, oftentimes when God comes into your life, there's such a transformation that many times people can't even tell that you are who you say you used to be. Because oftentimes there's no evidence, there's no proof. I know when I look at my own life and I look at the, you know, my journey and my path and where I've come from, you know, if I didn't give you my testimony where I came from, you would think I would be a person that, was, that had many, many privileges. But see, what God does is that when, you, when God comes into your life, he changes everything about your life and there's no physical evidence of who you used to be. He wipes your past completely out. Say amen to that. So one of the things that I love about our summer series is that we get to do, you know, seven and, you know, in July and August. And of course, you know, we always, you know, have an emphasis that we place on numbers. Numbers are important with God because the Bible says that God has a whole book called Numbers. Can I get an amen? And so when you think about it, uh, when you look at uh, in the Hebrew, every letter, you know, the Hebrew, when you, when you look at Hebrew words, they, they're built. Are you following me? So every word means something. Are you with me this morning? And so when we look at the number eight, it is the number of new beginnings. And so here we are in the eighth month, and this is an, uh, I believe this is a month where God has begun a new season prophetically in your life, new doors of opportunity, new, 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 new pathways are being created, new relationships are being established. All designed so that you can fulfill your God-given purpose in life. Say amen to that. Now, one of the things that has happened, and, you know, I'm just getting back off a sabbatical, and one of the things that happened is that I've got to have an opportunity really just to look at and uh, get some rest, but also hear from God. And one of the things that I've been getting to do is bring clarity to my life. You know, I've always, you know, I've always shared with you, wherever there's, you know, wherever there's clarity, there's always acceleration to the known goal. And so one of the most important things, if you're going to have any celebration, if you're going to have any opportunity to be successful, is that you're going to have to be, you're going to have to be clear about what it is that God's calling you to do. There's got to be clarity. You know, you, you, you want to be specific, you want to be intentional, and you want to be targeted about what you're called to do. Otherwise, you're not going to have any success because you're going to be all over the place. And one of the things that I realized that my assignment as a pastor, as a leader, as an individual, you know, in this, in this time of my life is to take Jesus to all the world, is to take Jesus to all the world. So when I speak to you all here, I'm not just talking to you. I'm talking to those who are globally listening to me all around the world. And that's why we've set things up so that we can speak beyond where we are at, so that we can now have a greater impact in the name of Jesus. Amen. So the Bible, term, I want you to turn in your Bible this morning to Matthew's gospel, Matthew chapter 8, I mean, excuse me, Matthew chapter 5, Matthew chapter 5 and verse uh, 17. Uh, Jesus said, do not think that I've come into the, that I come to destroy the law or the prophets, but I did not come to destroy it, but to fulfill it. Jesus is the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. Amen? Now, one of the things I want to begin to emphasize this morning in terms of living free, um, uh, Miles Monroe, who was a powerful leader and teacher, he made this, he made this statement, and I, I want you to write this down. He said, the, the person who cannot see the ultimate becomes a slave to the immediate. The person who cannot see the ultimate will always become a slave to the immediate. In other words, if you can't see what it is that you want to accomplish in your life, you will always be a slave to what's actually happening right now at this moment. Are you listening to me? 
So many people are trapped by what's actually going on. And the Bible says where there's no vision, the people perish. You have to see where you want to go. Otherwise, you'll be stuck where you are. Can I get an amen? Now, that's a powerful statement. That's why vision is so critical to your, to your life. The Bible says where there's no vision, the people perish. Proverbs 29 and 18 says where there is no redemptive revelation. That's what one Bible says. He says the people cast off restraint. See, if, if you, have you ever gotten to a place where you're so discouraged that you just give up because what you've been trying to do seems like it will never, ever happen? And so what happens when you do that, you start losing hope. And when you start losing hope, eventually you just give up. You just quit. You just to surrender. Why? Because you figure, man, it ain't worked so far. I might as well just throw in the towel. I might as well just quit. I might as well just give up. Are you listening to me? The Bible says that God has no pleasure in those who draw back. Those who draw back. You know, one of the things that I've come to understand is that God has called me to teach high-capacity people and high-impact people how to begin to succeed in life. Amen. Say amen. Can I get a better amen? amen? See, I had to come to a realization that that's my assignment. So I'm not trying to bring I'm not trying to come down to where you are. I'm trying to get you to come up where God wants you to be. The Bible says that God has seated us in heavenly places, high above all principality and power. Are you listening to me? God's not called you to be down with the chickens. He's called you to rise up with the eagles. Glory to God. Say amen. That means that you're soaring over your life. Look over here with me in, in John chapter 8, verse 32. John chapter 8, verse 32. The Bible says that you shall know the truth, and the truth shall what? Make you free. Make you free. Are you listening to me? There's no greater burden. Listen to me. There's no greater burden in life than freedom. There's no greater burden in life than freedom. Because once you're free, you got to decide what you're going to do with your freedom. What you're going to do with your time. Are you listening to me? Say amen. No heavier load. Listen to me. There's no heavier load than freedom. So what does it really mean to be free? We're talking about living free. So what does it mean? What does it really mean to be free? Some of you 21-year-olds now, you know what, you're an adult, so you, you know, your parents are giving you some liberty, but you, you, you got to understand how to manage that freedom, that liberty that you've been given, because otherwise you can wreck your whole future by mismanaging your freedom. Are you, are you hearing me this morning? So what does freedom really mean? Freedom is one of the most misunderstood ideas in the human experience. Are you hearing me this morning? And therefore, it is rarely attained. It's rarely attained. Are you hearing me? Most of humanity will never experience true freedom. They will never experience true freedom, even though freedom is the purpose and the reason for man's existence. It's the reason why we're here. The number one thing that God gave you is the ability to choose. He's not making you do anything. It's your choice. That's freedom. Say amen. So the first thing I want you to write down this morning is this. Freedom is, the, is a biblical concept introduced by God himself. Freedom is a biblical concept. It wasn't something that man made up. God initiated this. Say amen to that. In, in, in the very essence and purpose of man's, it's the very essence and purpose of man's existence. Natural freedom exists in in the very nature of a man as a God-given right and responsibility. It exists within us. Are you hearing me? It was established from the beginning of the creation of man. Freedom is the human right delegated by God to a man in the Bible. Look what it says over here with me in Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1 and verses 26 through 28. Then God said, let us make man in our image. The Bible says, according to our likeness. And let them have what? Dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, over the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Are you listening to me? So the Bible says, and this is what he says. 
He gave us that freedom. He gave us that freedom. Look at verse 28. I mean, verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And then God blessed them. And God said to them, be what? Fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over everything that moves on the earth. This gets me under, this gets me excited, man. It gets me excited. I love this stuff. See, here's what I want you to understand. This, in this declaration, are you hearing me? Here in this, in this declaration is the source and foundation of true freedom. What I just read to you. The source of the very meaning of the word free dominion. Free dominion. When you combine it, it means what? It's the word what? Freedom. Free to have dominion. See, true freedom, therefore, is therefore the liberty to dominate the earth. Through, here's what it is. I want, you to be, I want you to listen to me clearly now. True freedom is therefore the liberty to dominate the earth through one's unique gifts and talents in fulfillment of God's purpose for your life. Amen? Glory to God. Let me read that again. I want you to listen to me. Listen to me, those. He says, true freedom is therefore the liberty to dominate the earth through one's unique gifts and talents to fulfill God's purpose for you. Amen. Wow. Wow. When I finally understood that, I recognized that, wow, God, you've given me the ability to dominate my region. You've given me the ability to dominate and have, you know, and and I'm dominating with my gifts and my talents, my ability to empower you, my ability to elevate you, my ability now to show you how to begin to advance and mobilize your life. Say amen to that. The Bible says that he he gave us talents. So when God made you, Tommy, I see you smiling, son. He's so excited, praise God. Why? Because here's what happened. We're unlocking the genius in you. The genius in you. Amen. Glory to God. You become great in this life when you understand how to dominate the world with your gifts. The only reason you know, uh, the the only reason you know Mark Zuckerberg, not Mark Zuckerberg, is because he, he invented what? Facebook. He's dominating the world through his gift. Amen. And guess what? He's free. He can buy anything he wants. He can go any place he wants. He can influence whoever he wants. And he's doing it with his gift. Amen. Are you hearing me this morning? See, true freedom is what God has called you to do. So what are you called to do with your life? What are you called to do with your life? See, beloved, let me tell you something. You were created by God to dominate the environment through your personal gifts and talents. That's why the Bible says in Matthew, it says to one he gave five, to another he gave two, to another he gave one. You know, he gave them talents. Now that, in, that, in, that, in that instance, God gave them resources. He gave them finances. But he gave it to them according to their ability. Amen. And so, so in life, it's not what you have. It's what you do with what you have. 
Amen. So here's what I want you to understand. God, you were created by God to dominate the environment through your personal gifts and talents. So in, in, in pursuit of fulfilling God's personal purpose for your life and to serve others with that purpose. To serve others with that purpose. Amen. That's what we're called to do here as a local church. That's what we're called to do here. That's why God gave us this campus. That's why God made me, me Pastor Tracy, I as your pastors. That's why God is drawing you here be, through the law of attraction because God has put something great in you and he's trying to get me to unlock it out of you. Amen. To open it up so that you can fulfill your divine specific purpose. Say Amen. See, until you discover your purpose, your true purpose, your life will be void of meaning. It'll be voided of meaning. Amen. So the second thing I want you to write down is this. Freedom is the liberty to fulfill God's will. 